Hey there everyone, are you looking for a way to remove the FRP lock on your Android device? If you're wondering if this is possible and if it is possible to do this online, the quick answer is yes and we're gonna show you how you can do it in only 10 minutes and it's gonna be really simple. For the purpose of this video, we brought the Samsung device that currently have the FRP lock. It's a common Samsung device, A50, so we're gonna unlock it together. So the first thing that you need to know is that everything is done online. You don't need to download any type of software or do anything crazy. Just go to safeunlocks.com on your browser and head over to services. Now click on the FRP unlock. All right, we're on the unlock any Android device from Android FRP lock. It is gonna be really simple guys. And I'm about to show you what information is needed for you to unlock it. So we need to complete this form. It's gonna be easy. Let's start with our name and then our email. All right, now we have to select the device model we want to unlock. There is a lot of devices here and I'm sure you can unlock yours. On this case, the most common one are the Samsung devices, so we're gonna click on Samsung. Now, I have to select if I have an IMEI number. You click on I have an IMEI number, and then you have to provide this IMEI number. If you're wondering how you can get your IMEI number, it's gonna be really simple, and it's not gonna take too long. So, the first step is to go to the back of your device, and you will find the information of your device. Over here, you will see the IMEI number and it's gonna be easy. The second method is to go to the box of your device and grab the IMEI number. Or third is to open the SIM card tray and you can find the IMEI number right there. I'm gonna put the IMEI number of my device and I'll be right back with you guys. All right. Just to double check, it is over here, so you can see IMEI, you can see your IMEI right there if you have a Samsung A50, if you don't, follow the other advice. And after you complete everything, click on I accept the $1 fee to sign up and unlock my device and click on the proceed button. All right, now we're, we have landed on the order ID page. You can see I have my unit order right here and it says, to finish your order, please watch the video below on how to continue. This is very important, so scroll down and where it says need help, please watch the full tutorial before you proceed to the process. Your order with us is almost ready. All you need to complete it is a- All right, guys, make sure you watch the video, then scroll up, go to get a membership ID, click on I'm not a robot, continue to sign up and do the sign up process. If you are not sure how to do it at this point, scroll down, watch the full tutorial, it's only a minute, and you'll be able to get it in no time. So see you again in just one sec. Okay guys, I'm back. I finished doing my membership ID. Now I have to go to the inbox of the email I just have provided, and I have to wait for that membership ID to arrive into my inbox. So let's wait for a minute. Alrighty, membership ID, it's ready. All right, let's read this email. Hey Nick, thank you for using Safe Unlocks. Your membership ID has been verified. Please use it on the order page to get started. I have my ID right here. I'm gonna copy, let's copy this ID. And now let's go back to the order page. Enter here to continue, membership identification. Let's paste it right here. And if everything is right, you can see the start order button right here. So we're gonna click it. So you can see your order is now in progress and now we have to go back to the email, go to your inbox and we're gonna wait for the second email containing a dummy ID that will help us unlock the FRP lock. Okay guys, FRP dummy ID, let's open this email. Your FRP dummy ID was generated successfully. Please enter this ID on the device you have selected using the IMEI number. This dummy ID does not contain any type of personal data. I got an email and a password right there. So let's enter that information on the FRP lock device. All right guys, I'm in the FRP lock screen and you can see your phone was factory reset, enter your print to unlock it. We don't have that. Use my Google account instead. We're gonna click on that. And now we have to enter that same information that was sent to our email. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. 
got the same email right there and let's enter the same password. All right, so you can see it is the same password. We're gonna hit on the next button and kid your phone updated. Let's do all the configuration. Let's kit in here. Uh, we're gonna press on the add previous account. All right, we're gonna click on done copy. Next. And we're gonna click on no thanks. Skip, skip anyway. We're gonna click on okay. This will let all the apps. And now it's gonna take one second. Skip over here, skip, finish. And we're done with this device. All right, remind me later, this is a Samsung thing. And we're in the home screen of our device. So we have to go to settings and we have to go to account and backup account and we're gonna delete this one we're gonna remove the account remove account and now you can add yours that's all you have to do to do this frp unlock method it's super easy so if you want to do it go to safeunlocks.com and you'll be able to do it yourself in only a few steps and everything is gonna be online see you again on the next video bye